welcome to Past Review. Today is a new day. I wanted to apologize because in the last episode I had some problems with my, my pronunciation. I hope you guys understand that English is not my first language. Uh, we're gonna review Mr. Kipling uh, 8 French Fancies. It has a little uh, cup of tea right here. It uh, makes us think that this is perfect for a tea situation. Something, something you want to share with your grandma. They say they're French right here, but for, as the way they present it and they try to sell it, it feels way more like a like a British thing, right? First of all, the first thing I can notice is that they're hard to open. Oh, wait, wait. You can feel the glue coming out, but it breaks unevenly. See? And I like how they, they coordinated the color like this, you know, like... There's only two vanilla, so if you like vanilla, bad luck. Easy to open, but again, it opens unevenly. This is a very uneven product. And let's try them. I'll try the strawberry one first. Mmm. It kind of tastes like detergent somehow. Chocolate. And let's try the last flavor. I'm kind of full already, but we're gonna have to try it. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to give you an objective review. Mm. This is too sweet. You cannot notice the difference between the coating and the actual cake, so you might get confused. Am I eating coating? Am I eating cake? Am I eating cream? This makes all the problem. My favorite is it all tastes the same. It may taste the same. But the difference is minimum. It's a beautiful packaging visually, but not very practical. So I'm gonna give this a 3.4. Thank you, Mr. Kipling, for sending us your eight French fancies. I just gave them a three point something because because the brand of Bowser review everything is around three, but this shit is one. See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe our website, and thank you.